what's up beautiful welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new in today's video i'm just going to be prepping my micro locks for wash day if you are new i'm going to just give you a little bit of background on my micro locks so i am 11 months locked i locked on my own um obviously 11 months ago um june the 29th will make one year as far as maintenance on my locks, I wash and retwist between one month and two month, months. <laughs> so it's been two months since I've washed my hair and I'm just showing you what it looks like, um, you know, two months without washing or retwisting. I did interlock my hair once at the four month mark. So about seven months ago, if I'm doing my math right, seven months ago, I interlocked once and then I just started retwisting again after that. The number of locks I have is around 378, I think. <laughs> Somewhere around that number, I did combine um, two of them. So, I'm not really sure I do have a video on my lock count so if you want to go watch that I'll go ahead and link it in the corner up here whenever I prep my hair for washing I like to um, separate my hair into the original grid or somewhat close to it so that I can stay organized whenever I'm washing and then once I wash it it's already divided up um, ready for my retwist anyone is curious on how i see the back of my head i always take a thumbtack and pin this mirror that you see on my door to the back of the door and i have also have a mirror in front of me so that's how i see the back of my hair and where my parts are I use the braid and band method whenever I'm washing so that I do stay organized and I just braid it really loosely so that I can make sure I get into my roots really well. So from here, I'm just going to continue to show you how I divide my hair and braid and band to prepare for the next step. Thank you. 
So now that I'm all done with that part, I'm just gonna be taking this um, water spray bottle and mixing a little bit of this Design Essentials um, shampoo inside so that I can really get into my roots. And honestly, I wish I had an applicator bottle because I think that would be a lot better, but I only have this spray bottle here to, um, you know, demonstrate what I'm doing and it still gets the job done. So I'm just gonna be spraying this mixture into my roots as much as I can. And I do this part outside of the shower because it saves so much time and water when I do it this way. And even when I was a loose natural, I always divided my hair up like this and um, did my pre-poo is what I call it. Did my pre-poo before I got in the shower. And I will also link some of my loose natural hair videos if you want to see some of those. I'm sure I have at least a couple of videos of me showing you how I wash my loose natural hair as well. But um, yeah, you can see I'm just like spraying the heck out of my hair. I think I ended up using this whole bottle of um, water and shampoo on my hair. And um, I know you're not supposed to use your nails, but my nails are kind of long and I try not to scratch too hard, but my hair was really dirty, y'all. It, it's been like two months and two weeks <laughs> since I washed my hair. So I really wanted to make sure it got clean so yeah, throughout the years of me being natural, this process just has really cut down the time of my wash time, especially if I'm washing my hair in the shower. It takes um, a lot less time to wash my hair when I go ahead and do this part outside of the shower. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with this part. This is all I'm going to do, and I'm just going to um, finish washing my hair in the shower. And it shouldn't even take that long because I did the hardest part outside of the shower. What's up, y'all? I know it's only been voiceovers until now, but I just um, finished washing my hair and hopefully I got it clean. Of course, I never know. I washed it um, like two, three, I guess including the time that I shampooed it on camera, um, three times I shampooed. One, the first time y'all saw me, y'all saw me shampoo with this shampoo, but in the shower, I use this because it really cleanses my hair and I didn't dilute that one with water at all. I just poured some in my hand and went through all of my parts and went through each section and I got some on my hand. Went through each section and did this. I think I got it clean enough but I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm gonna make a separate video on how I moisturize my hair after the shower because I didn't use any moisturizer or, no moisturizer. 
I didn't use any conditioner in the shower. I don't feel comfortable doing that yet because my locks are not all the way mature, but I do put a leave-in conditioner. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and tune in to my next video. Should be my next video where I show you how I moisturize my hair after I wash. This is what my hair is looking like after washing in the shower. And right now I'm about to take a little break. Probably get a t-shirt to towel dry my hair. Yeah, I'll be back to show y'all how I moisturize my hair and separate my locks. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope you choose to subscribe to my channel. I also have a family channel um, that I cook and do family vlogs over there. So if you're interested in seeing that, go ahead and subscribe over there. Everything will be linked in the description box below. All right, y'all, until next time.